Welcome to ProStructure's Drawing Creation Workflow videos. Now that we have positioning complete, we can have a look at how the actual drawing creation process works in ProStructure's. Let us go to the Drawing Production tab, Detailing section, and the main tool here is a section callout. We also have an elevation and plan callout tools, however the section callout is the most versatile of the three. So actually with this tool, I am going to create a general top view from which I'll create other views. With the tool active, let us select the drawing seed, concrete section metric in this instance. And with the seed selected, let us pick a start point and an end point of our section, followed by the depth of this section. A create drawing window will pop up. Here I first change the name of the drawing to general top view and below we see create drawing model is checked. This will create a drawing model inside our DGN file with a given scale where all the annotations can be made. Below we can uncheck the create sheet model as I already have a sheet model within this file. You always have to have a drawing model so you can annotate your drawings. Sheet models are not mandatory. Then on the bottom, if open model is checked, after accepting, we will immediately be taken to the drawing model. As you can see, the initial result of drawing production is a bit cluttered, but the way ProStructures works is that on the initial drawing creation, it includes all the active levels from the 3D model in your drawing model. This is important as the black dashed lines in this view are actual 3D rebar we have modeled and blue lines are the two-dimensional representations of those and they will be the elements we annotate in the drawing. Let us quickly clean up the view a bit by turning off the appropriate levels. In this case, this will be PC rebar wall, foundation, calls, beam, and PC rebar itself. Those are the levels that contain our three-dimensional bars in this view. Now that's much better. Another good thing about having a clean initial drawing is that we can now generate an already slightly better looking view without those 3D rebar in place. So I'll use the section callout tool again and create an elevation view this time. We can go further and immediately create a section from this just created elevation. You can now see that both the elevation drawing we've created a second ago and the section drawing created right now uh, do not contain the 3D rebar in view. So the drawings look much cleaner and we can verify that in the levels tool. Now that both drawings are done, we can quickly move them onto the sheet model. So let us go to the sheet model itself. And putting the drawings into the sheet is as simple as opening the models tool and dragging a particular drawing model onto the sheet. This will create a reference of that drawing model. Let us do that for both the elevation and section view. Since those models are references, we can't really edit them on the sheet model without activating that, but standard reference editing tools like move or copy or mirror are available for easier alignment. And that is how you create the drawings and place them on sheets. In future videos, I'll demonstrate how to edit rebar annotations and the display of those rebar representations on the drawings. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.